Hi. Um, today I'm here to talk to you about Hungry Wolves Consulting Group, um, kind of about where we started, uh, where we came from, how we came up with this crazy idea to start this company in the first place. I'm going to tell you about what we do, um, the people we've helped, and different things that we've gone through as a business. One of the things we like to talk about with our new clients or um, potential clients is the needs of a restaurant. Um, a lot of people struggle with the same things when it comes to the needs of their customers. A few that we discovered were very common was um, training for all kitchen staff. I feel like when new hires get hired, the um, process of getting trained can be very quick due to high demand to have them actually working. Um, so definitely needing new requirements for all kitchen staff, even if they've been there five years. Um, because of the reviews of poor food quality, it is a need to have people be retrained on a lot of different things. The second thing that I listed was adding more response to poor customer service reviews. A lot of management just overlooks the bad and just praises the good comments on their um, review pages and in person at the restaurant, which can be a problem because the people who had bad experiences are the ones that need to be coming back and developing new ideas about the um, restaurant in order to gain a better experience. Another thing that um, these things kind of all contribute to is weekly meetings. It's very important that communication begin between management and employee. Um, that way the customers can all know that their providers are on the same page and a lot of restaurants do not have that. Restaurant reviews are a very important part of gaining customer satisfaction, like gauging how good you're doing. Um, listed on the screen are two very important um, review sites that a lot of people use. Um, another common one would be Facebook. I know a lot of people tend to go that way. Um, especially in the older crowds. Um, the first thing most people do before going out to dinner is looking up the best places in the area with the highest ratings, the least negative reviews, and just the overall cleanliness of a restaurant. So it is very, very, very important that all management takes a look at these websites and tries to engage with their audience to fix any issues that someone may have had in the past that could prevent someone from coming in the future. One thing I mentioned that I was going to speak about in the beginning of this was where the Wolves Consulting Group came from. We started at the University of West Georgia. Uh, we were hanging out all the time and just when we got tired of the dining hall food, we were struggling finding good places to eat. Um, it was just really difficult because we felt like a lot of the restaurants we attended were like so close to being good but just barely scratched the surface because of pricing or rude service or anything like that the common things and we were like it would be really cool if we could go out and help these people so that in the future people like us in college who need to know where they're eating and spending the little money they have will know what they're getting into and hopefully won't have those issues in the future obviously this is something important i need to talk about obviously you don't know who i am i have not said my name yet um, that is because I wanted to save it for this moment. So obviously you've been hearing me talk for about three minutes. Um, basically, I'm Jennifer Hardin. I'm the lead marketing representative at Hungry Wolves Consulting Company. I go out and find clients, show them why they need to stick with us and get the help from us rather than finding it elsewhere. Um, I worked in the food service industry all of college and some in high school. I worked at McDonald's, Chipotle, O'Charlie's as a hostess and even delivered groceries with Instacart. I um, had my fair share with food delivery and food service in a restaurant. So I really feel like I can understand a lot of the issues that go on with the different sides of um, management and anything that comes along with it. I really enjoy this job and I hope to have future clients. The restaurant I'm reviewing is O'Charlie's in Carrollton, Georgia. Um, I have had experience at this restaurant, so that is also one of the reasons I decided to kind of go about reading the reviews. Um, the restaurant has been open for a really long time, and they are most famously known for their free pie Wednesdays. Another thing that they're really known for is Sunday brunch. After reading the reviews on Yelp, TripAdvisor, and some Facebook posts, I did come up with some very well recommendations for the business. Um, it was really just basic things that were going wrong that a lot of restaurants tend to struggle with. Um, and it's really just food preference and how people prefer things to be done. But it's really important that we kind of find a medium instead of 
going one extreme or the other. Um, that's one thing that I wanted to point out. Also, a lot of servers lack the customer's always right policy, and that's something that needs to be instilled in the management and in the hourly employees as well. Um, another recommendation is to have management walk around to each table throughout the um, shift and go up to people as soon as they get their food and be like, how is everything? How is your server? How is your service? Everything tasting okay? That way it can be immediately addressed versus having to read a review and possibly not being able to find the server that was in that. Um, other than that, I think another recommendation that would be really well in this restaurant is just to have more of an uplifting attitude. I feel like sometimes when people go to work, you know, it's work. It's really hard to love it, um, especially working in a restaurant business. You're tired from school normally because it's for college students or um, younger parents who are just so exhausted. It can be really hard. I think offering incentives to employees is really, really important in bringing livelihood to your restaurant. In this slide, I have listed multiple things that um, can help or destroy a company. Um, the strengths and weaknesses I found based on their reviews and opportunities and threats that can come about with having online reviews. Um, I feel like most of these are kind of obvious. Um, as far as the strengths go, there was very clean restrooms, clean dining area, the prices were good, and they did have some friendly waitresses on there that they were listing. Um, a lot of people were talking about how it took a really long time to get drinks, that the management did not want to fix customer complaints about food, and then also a lot of overcooked or undercooked food was listed on the reviews, um, especially the Yelp reviews, that we can see um, opportunities, you know, like having online reviews gives a really good glimpse into what the customers are seeing as a worker or as a manager. You don't always get to see every side of your employees or every side of even your other fellow managers. So it's really important to kind of go read those and be like, this is what is happening when I'm not there or when someone else isn't there that we see. Um, also some threats that we see on there was I'm never coming back. I will tell everyone not to eat here. Um, and also posting those really bad foods or maybe even videos of rude servers can be definitely threatening to a business. As we come to the conclusion of my PowerPoint, I have decided that we are going to do a giveaway item. The prize item is on the screen here. It is a water jug with our um, logo on it and our phone number. Um, if you'll go on Instagram and tag us in your um, next photo, um, you'll be put into a box, your name will get drawn out, and we will direct message you on Instagram and send you this awesome 